Load up and go with the Yakima Skybox NX. This family of cargo boxes was designed to help you and all your gear get to your destination of choice. With two sizes to choose from, we have a box that will fit your gear hauling needs. The NX-16 has 16 cubic feet of internal storage capacity and is perfect for three to four campers and can accommodate skis up to 175 centimeters. And the NX-18 with 18 cubic feet of internal storage can accommodate four to five campers and carry skis up to 195 centimeters. To help you take advantage of all that internal storage space, Skybox NX is equipped with our market-leading removable installation tool that not only ensures a safe and secure installation, but provides an unobstructed flattened floor. And loading up all that gear comes easy with dual-sided opening and integrated tie-down points. But make sure you only open one side of the box at a time. Now let's show you how to get this box on your vehicle. First, to open the cargo box, you'll want to locate the keys. They should be taped to the box near one of the opening handles. Pull the keys out and unlock the box and pull down the metal opening handle. The NX can be opened from both sides, but make sure you only open one side at a time. With the box open, remove the installation tool and loosen the larger bolt on all four clamps until they open large enough to fit around your crossbars. There is no need to loosen or tighten the small bolt. With the clamps now in the open position, reach under the box and slide them all the way forward, like this, and close the lid. Now, let's get the Skybox NX up on your car. Make sure you grab a friend so you don't hurt yourself or your sweet right. Lift the box and place it on the crossbars so that the clamps are forward of the crossbars. Now, slide the box back so the clamps are now resting on top of your crossbars. You may need to slide the clamps individually with your hands. Now, check to make sure that the box is centered and if you have a hatch, make sure the box is positioned forward enough so you don't have any interference. With the box in place, open it up, tighten up the larger bolt with the installation wrench until you hear the wrench click three times. The click means you're doing it right. Now, visually inspect the clamp and make sure they look like this, and not this. Once all four clamps are tightened, store the wrench here for safekeeping. Now, push down on the lid until the handle returns to a horizontal position and you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, push down on the lid at both ends to make sure the box is fully closed and the locking mechanism is engaged. Only when the box is properly closed and locked can the key be removed. Now give the box a good shake by tugging it in all directions. It should not move at all on the crossbar. If you have movement, check that the clamps are properly around the crossbar and tighten them up again. Now for the fun part, loading it up. Position the heaviest items in the center and work out from there. There are tie down points on each of the clamps for additional security. You just need to grab some straps. Ratchets are overkill, so don't use them. Just make sure not to overload the box with items that are too big or too heavy for your vehicle crossbar system. Not that you would ever wanna take this sweet cargo box off of your car, but if you need to, open the box, Loosen the clamp with the insulation wrench until the clamp nut raises slightly, making sure not to back it out too much. If you accidentally remove it too far, no worries. Just compress the clamp and thread the nut back in a few turns. Now slide the clamps off of all four crossbars and with a friend, lift it off of your vehicle and store it in someplace nice. Now get out and take it easy.